Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about UFT tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be getting ahead with our checkpoint learning and we'll be understanding a new checkpoint and output value called as text area checkpoint and text area output value. A text area checkpoint or output value is just another extension of text checkpoint which basically be using or used for comparing multiple text at the same time. Now text checkpoint is just limited to one particular object and one property that is text but this is limited to one property that is text but multiple fields at the same time. You can just mark in a particular area on the application and whatever text comes under that whether static or dynamic will be verified at the same time. So let's quickly get started and understand how to make use of text area checkpoint and text area output value in our tutorial today. As a part of this tutorial, we are continuing ahead with our checkpoints tutorials and understanding more about the text area checkpoint and text area output value. In order to understand the difference between the text and the text area checkpoint, it's more important to know the name itself. That text checkpoint is basically meant for verifying a particular text from a particular object, but its text area checkpoint covers multiple texts at the same time, as it involves an area to be targeted on the application, and whatsoever the text are covering within that particular area will be captured to be verified at the same time. So instead of adding three different checkpoints to verify three text, you can make use of text area checkpoint. Now let's try doing this and understand the more detail that how you can add a text area checkpoint in your script. Now again, I will be using the same application which we have with us and we'll be just trying to change some values here meanwhile and uh, turn on the recording. Now as of I, I start recording, first of all I need to perform certain steps which will be uh, doing the necessary job. For example, Sydney to Zurich and uh, also want to capture the date which is like 28 July and then I go to the checkpoints list and there I have a text area checkpoint and this instead of selecting an object allows me to mark an area on the application which can cover all the text within that area to be checked at the same time. So right now I've marked a particular strip and press OK to that. It will show me a complex value which means there are multiple values at the same time but it does recognize and understand that what exactly it is. So let's click on configure and you would see the values which it has captured but altogether it want to show you a complex value which is not just one value but has multiple inputs there. If you want to definitely uh, modify anything you can do that uh, otherwise as well going to the repository and making the necessary changes. Just press OK or cancel and you're done with this press OK it will add a step at the bottom and you can stop recording. Again as you know yourself that a past result when you run the script will doesn't will not show you the data which it has actually compared. So UFT doesn't prefer to show you the comparison between a past test with the checkpoint which has the same expected as well as actual. But when it fails it does show you everything. So why don't we just give it a try from the point of failing it. For example I say here Paris and here I say it as Denver. Again you must try with the values which are in the application. For example if I drop down here these are the values which are present in the application. So you must try any one of these which are listed. Do not try any other city outside this which will give you a runtime error that this value is not found in the application. In fact if you want to play around with the dates you can also try that. For example if I say SEP which means the September and it will look forward to another date. So right now all three values will fail because all three values are captured in the checkpoint as well as they are all three modified as per the expected. So let's click on run and see the behavior of the execution. Now don't forget these are not independent checkpoints so only one particular step will wait for verification and we will be looking forward to have that. And right now I think we had a failure so let's have a look the web strip the tab strip which we added has a failure and if I go and look into that it says the expected was Sydney, Zurich and this whereas the actual is Paris, Denver and 28th of September which is definitely not correct. Okay 
At any point of time, if you wish to modify the values, you can always go to the resources, object repository, and again, select the checkpoint, click on configure, and you can modify the values. Okay. And uh, coming to the next one as a part of it, which is the output check, output value. Again, if you want to retrieve multiple values at the same time, you can do the same by just clicking on record and going to the checkpoints options. There you have text area output value which again allows you to capture a particular area and cover all the text un inside that and to be mapped to the data table. Now again, you can define a column for that. Again, it's not mandatory for uh, you know, every time to modify this, but if you want, you can say text area output. And this will store all the value in the script. Okay, does it say anything? Yes, of course. Uh, it says that you cannot have uh, spaces between uh, the name of the parameter or the column, so it has to be a string. So I press OK and OK. Now with that, I want to stop recording and I have an additional step here to retrieve the output value in this particular column. So I click on uh, Run again and let's see what the output value does. So this will again perform the similar steps which I have given them and it will try to uh, target all the values and if you can see here it has captured the values during the runtime and if you could not see that you can pause the video going back or you can just click on the test data click on default.xls and say yes open it I don't want to save right now and there you see the values Paris, Denver and 20th September 2021 so whatsoever you know whatever you command them it will just do that for you and let you know what was the exact outcome but it was a failure because expected was different than actual so that was all from this particular tutorial about the text area checkpoint and text area output value if you have any questions feel free to drop them below feel free to let me know if you get any any kind of concerns related to checkpoints on different application I would be definitely sure enough to help you with more understanding on such things Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.